Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel again. So here I have is a very very old pocket watch. Look at that. Can't really tell, huh? It's all leather bound and uh, basically it's a birch fusi made for the uh, Turkish market. Look at that. Press the button to open up this. So it is a quadruple case, which means it has four cases. Um, as you can see, I'll lift it up for you. It's a uh, signed by Edward Pryor in London so it's a uh, Great Britain made in UK for the uh, Turkish market as you can see these numberings are Arabic so this was during the Ottoman Empire so that is the first case it's very interesting here it looks like it's made of out of wood lined with some cloth and uh, leather bound on the outside we lift that aside so this is the watch itself it's got the tortoise shell around the case. Look at that on the back as well. And then uh, adorned with silver. So this is the second case. And upon pressing the button here, it opens up, leaves open. Remove the watch again. And this is the other watch. Again, solid silver. And that's not all. Press the button again to open up and lift up. So, according to research on the hallmarks on the case, this watch dates back to 1771. This is a long time ago. So now we are in the year 2021, and uh, this watch is 250 years old. Now, what was going on in 1771? Back then, the king of China was Qianlong, emperor of Qing Dynasty. In England, you have George III, and France, it was King Louis XV. And the watchmaker Breguet has not even started, and uh, it came about in 1774. Now, let's have another history lesson. Look at that, the enamel down, these are all Middle Eastern Arabic numerals. Alright, so um, this is the keyhole where you put a key in to wind up. Put a knife here. Lift up the cover. Look at the hands. Again, you use the key to adjust the set time. And for such watches, basically you press a little spring click here and lift. Ah, there we are. Check this out. It's all brass, pierced through, hand engraved throughout. It is signed there by the watchmaker and then serial number as well. Now, what's the verge view you see? Check out the gearing. The fusee is basically like a bicycle chain on a conical gear. As a key down here winds up. Instead of the modern days, we have a spring. In those days, you use a bicycle chain. And all these are handcrafted. Looks like Corinthian, uh, what do you call, columns actually. So basically, it's a two, ba two base plates, top and bottom with uh, held on by all these uh, pillars and uh, all the gears are inside there moving around and that is actually the balance under this uh, cock here it's very elaborate very beautiful those days these are all handcrafted and that is actually to adjust the uh, fast and slow adjustment again sign off in uh, arabic num numerals blue steel screws can you hear the sound Alright, so those are the hallmarks in there by the case maker. Alright, back in those days, watches for the watch movement they were made by the watchmaker, whereas the case is actually consigned to uh, and the case maker who are usually jewelers, they produce a case and then send it back for assembly, much like cars in the early days, whereby as example the Rolls Royce will build the car engine and then they'll sell you the chassis with the engine together and then the body work is done by a coach maker so those were the days of watch making 1771 250 years old this is by far the oldest watch i have that's working because a lot of these things uh, don't work at all this is way before singapore was even found look at that four cases all into one all right 
that's what we have for today. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you again. Thank you.